This is Technomancer for zero point fuel. Uh, been busy. I haven't posted in a while, but I wanted to give you guys a look at this. I'm in the process of making graphene to build a super cap for the new generator. And uh, I wanted you to see this. This is a, a close up of the graph oil and the little worms that are coming off of the surface. This process is uh, Robert Murray Smith and um, it makes quite a lot. This is not graphene yet, but it will be once it's sonicated. And what I have here is I have a power supply that's rated at 24 volts at 10 amps and that's running through a PWM and you can see it's 10 volts at about 4.2 amps. Now that goes up as the water heats up and as the sodium sulfate um, gets into the, the surface of the graph oil. Now I've used this and it does work. It's a little slower going than the graph oil. The graph oil just pours off of there. And this is stainless steel plate wrapped with a piece of cloth and that's just a piece of graph oil. So I'm using a PWM as a power supply. If you got a regulated power supply, you could just use that. This is the poor man's way to do it. And what it is, is this is 500 milliliters of distilled water. And I have a 0.5 molar solution of sodium sulfate. And if you sit down and you do the math, the sodium sulfate comes out to be 35.5 grams of sodium sulfate per 500 milliliters of uh, water. And uh, I'm using distilled water because uh, deionized water is just a little harder to get a hold of. And you can go down to any uh, grocery store and pick up distilled water. Now, you'll have to rinse this, um, but it just pours off of that. It's just unbelievable how fast this is working. You can hear it. I'm trying I've I've got an amp meter on it. And uh, the reason you it would be good to keep an amp meter on it is because if it shorts to the plate, somehow if it gets into that and shorts to the plate, the amperage would go up. And uh, my little PWM is only rated for 15 amps, I think, so, and the power supply, obviously, but it, because I'm stepping down the voltage, it, it can pretty much handle anything I throw at it at this, at 10 volts, so, but I, I wanted you guys to get a look. I know it's been a while since I posted, and I've been running through the different winding configurations for the new generator that I designed, and, um, I've actually scaled it down to something probably about eight inches in diameter on the outside edge. So I've scaled down the generator so I can use a real small motor to drive it. And um, it it's coming together. It's just because the windings that I'm I'm having to the, because the different uh, configurations that I'm going through. To create the stator it's just tedious and, and there's really no reason to post anything that doesn't work um, I'm just posting what I'm getting done here so uh, I'll be posting some more videos soon guys and uh, for now this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out